everyone welcome back to my channel Tracy Gork light hope and healing I'm a healing coach energy healer spiritual mentor intuitive and channel I use all of that to find out what's wrong get you well and keep you well this week's topic is how to not sit in your pain and illness and why so this one is one that I work for myself and with my clients right so what happens when you sit in your pain and illness and what is sit in your pain and illness that's my words for it when you sit in your pain and illness, you're prolonging getting better, right? Now, that being said, it's okay when you get sick, be there for a minute because maybe you just need to like take the time to heal and rest a little bit just so be in it, right? But don't be in it too long because you want to overcome it because it could become this chronic thing. And it's if you tend to do that, to sit in your pain and illness where you want to let everybody know that you're sick or in pain, then you want to look at that because you're holding on to it or you can be holding on to it. That's another thing you just need to look at for yourself and decide for yourself if that's what you're doing, okay? But if you are wanting to let everybody know you're sick and everybody know you're in pain all the time, have a look at that as why. Why are you? Because when you're doing that, then you are manifesting more of that in your life. Okay? And we are manifestors. We are very strong manifestors. We just need to start healing the trauma so we're manifesting more of what we want in our life, not what we don't want. Because that's what we're doing. We're manifesting what we don't want. If you're not manifesting the life you want, then you're manifesting the life you don't want. So you want to look as to why. What is causing that, right? And part of that is when you get sick or if you're in pain, you're wanting to let everybody know so they want to feel bad for you or whatever that is. Now, I understand, and this might come across harsh, and if so, I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean it that way, but it's something you want to look at if you want to feel better, right? We've been made to believe we don't have the power to heal ourselves, but we do. Now, I'm not saying don't go to the doctor, but, you know, a lot of people are in pain and illness and they're going to the doctor and it's not helping. And it's because we're sitting in it, okay? We're sitting in the pain and illness, okay? So we can overcome it. And again, we just discuss why because we're manifesting it now if this is offensive to you have a look as to why it's offensive to you because you can either say well she's full of it or you can look at it and say well why not try it you know one or the other but if it's offensive you might want to look at why is it offensive what have i hit what trauma in you needs to be healed that i've hit with that all right so i wrote some things down that i wanted to um uh, give you ideas. So one would be journal. This helps you get the frustration out of it being in pain, sick, whatever it is. Journal it. Get it out of your body. Because if you're holding it in, that is making it worse for you. So journal. Journal. Just start writing. Start writing. Whatever comes to mind, just write it. And if it's stuff that you don't, so don't maybe, maybe just if it's something that you know is something you want to burn, because that's what you should do. If it's something you don't want others to see, is burn it. But get it out on paper. Get it out of you because that will relieve and release a lot of stuff when you just get it out on paper. Maybe your thoughts. If it's anger, frustration, whatever it is, if it's thoughts you don't want people to see, get it out on paper and then burn it. But you need to get it out of your body. So try doing that. That's, that's one tip. Um, have a look. Journal too. Why do you want people to know you're sick or know and understand your pain why do you want that because that's something within you and we had discussed this in another video when you want people to know they're not gonna know they can't unless they've been in your life experienced everything in your life they won't know exactly what you're feeling and going through okay so wanting that from somebody you're not gonna get it so you have to worry and and heal yourself right you have to overcome for yourself. Others can sympathize, but then they can only sympathize so much, you know? So journal that. Why do you want people to know? But see what comes up for you, right? Um, so 
look for the positive things in your life. And if you're having trouble finding positive things in your life, that's another thing you want to look at, right? Because again, you're manifesting it. When you start looking for positive things, more positive things are going to show up. So look for positive things. But if you are not finding positive things in your life, you need to look at that. Why am I not finding positive things in my life, right? I had discussed it. Look for little things if that's all you can at first, because then bigger will start to show up once you start focusing on the positive, okay? If everything's negative in your life, that's what you're going to keep getting, including the sickness. When you start looking to the positive, you're going to start seeing the more positive in your life, right? I've seen the most sickest people, and they're still positive, and they still live a good life even if they have this stuff going on. So it's your choice, right? It's your choice in how you want to do it. And I know sometimes people, and I've seen it even with myself, I'm like, I can't do that. But I, I did. I learned to overcome that. I learned to overcome things in my life so I could live a happier, more positive, healthy life, right? And it was overcoming some traumas that had happened to me. And starting to look for the good in your life. I do all these things I tell you to do. I have done myself to overcome things. So I can be happier and healthier. And just live a better life. Because we were meant to do that. We came in to overcome this stuff. All right? So look for the positive in your life. And if you can't find it, then look at to why. And remember, things that make you happy I showed you guys pens one day because I had these colored pens that are highlighters and they were pastel and I was so excited and it really lifted me up. I saw a hummingbird yesterday, the first one of the year. That was awesome. So look for little things in your life. Then the bigger will be shown to you too, okay? So look for the positive. And the last thing I want to discuss, because, you know, I always get the arguments, well, I can't do this or I can't do that, or it, I'm, it's just there's nothing good in my life. What does it hurt you to look for the good? What does it hurt you to try? Because I can guarantee it does hurt you to stay in looking at all the bad things in your life. The people who've had, sometimes the people who've had the worst lives come out the other side so much better because they had to work at overcoming that. They had to work extra hard to find the beauty. But they did. And when they did, it's amazing. I've seen it in people. So what does it hurt for you to look for the good? What does it hurt? Find the things that are positive, And it's going to make a difference. It will help you. But if I'm wrong, then what does it hurt you to do that? It's, it's not going to hurt you. All right? So try these things. Try not sitting in your pain and illness. Be in it for a minute. Allow yourself. It's okay. We're human. But when you just keep it over every day, every day, every day, sitting in it, you want to change that because you can change your life and help yourself and heal. All right? So... That's what I've got for today. Let's get ready for the healing meditation. If you are driving or using heavy machinery, you need to stop listening to the podcast now because we are going to be doing a healing meditation and the energy is very powerful and can make you sleepy and lose concentration. Come back when you stop driving or using the heavy equipment and enjoy the healing meditation. All right, let's get ready for the healing meditation. I want you to close your eyes. Go ahead and take a deep breath in now. Hold it and exhale. Another deep breath in. Hold it and exhale. And one last deep breath in. Hold it. This time on the exhale, relax your whole body. All right, I want you to imagine this blue light coming in the top of your head and this red light coming up from your root chakra. 
both going to your heart. So the blue is coming down to your heart and the red is coming up to your heart. Those two colors are going to blend and make violet. I want you to imagine this violet light spreading out throughout your body. It's getting larger and larger. It's going up into your head. It's clearing and cleansing and purifying anything that no longer serves you. It's going down your arms, down into your solar plexus, and your sacral, and then down to your root and down both legs, all the way down to your feet. And once it fills up your physical body, that violet color flame is going to spread out into your energy, filling up your aura, cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. All right, now I want you to imagine this gold light coming down from God, source, whatever your belief is, it's going down into your heart. You're going to imagine that light just spreading just like we did with the violet flame. Spreading out up into your head, neck, shoulders, down your arms, your chest, your solar plexus, your sacral, your root, now down both legs. And again, as it fills up your body, now it's going to fill up your aura, your whole energy. So you're just surrounded and in this gold light. Now I want you to imagine this blue light coming into the top of your head. It's going down to your heart. And this blue light's coming and then it's going to come up from your root also chakra and meeting in your heart. So it's coming down from your crown chakra and your root chakra and then it's meeting in your heart. These blue lights are going to start twirling in counterclockwise direction. You're going to imagine them going into a look like a tornado and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it's as big as your whole body. it's as big as your whole body, I want you to imagine an X at the end of this tornado. You're disconnecting from anything that is no longer serving your highest and best with this. Again, I want you to imagine this gold light coming into the top of your head. It's filling up your heart again. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to send healing energy to those that have harmed you. And if you've been with me for a while, you know we do this to heal for you, right? So I want you to send this healing energy from your heart to them, but only to right at the edge of them because you can't force healing on them. But you want to put it there so if they want it, they can take it. This is to heal for you, not for them. You don't have to be around them, hang around them, talk to them. It's up to you, but you need to heal it for you. So send that healing now from you to them and heal all the situations that happened that have hurt you. And now when you feel that's done, I want you to do the same thing for those you may have harmed. And if you can't think of it, just do it with the intention that it goes to those that have 
you may have harmed. Same thing, send the healing from you to them, just to the edge of their energy, so they can decide if they want it or not. And this is helping for you to heal. And them also. you to send gold light you're gonna bring it down from the top of your head to your heart send gold light to those people in your family Now I want you to add sending gold light to those in your city. And now send gold light to those in your state. send gold light to everyone in your country and now send gold light to everyone around the world When you feel that's done, bring the gold light back into your heart. And I'm going to send healing energy now to you, so sit back and relax, and I will send it now. If you feel any twitching throughout your body, it's just the energy breaking blockages, so just relax through it. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in now. Hold it. And this time on the exhale, release everything that came up for you that needs to be released. Open your eyes. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. All right, that's what I have for today. Go have a great day. Go do something you love, something that brings you joy and lifts you up. Do at least one thing every day that you love to do. And then do at least one thing of self-care every day. Drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever it is. Do at least one self-care every day. And then look for the good in everything. Look for the good everywhere in everything. And when you see something good in somebody, say it to them and write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things, and I promise you, you're going to start to see a difference in your life. So that's all I have for today. I love you all. Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.